Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be taking a look at the Yuji Itadori 6 scale figure by 3-0 from Jujutsu Kaisen. The box is a semi-gatefold design. The front features an image of Itadori, his face in rage, posed in a combat posture and surrounded by a bright orange shadow. The Jujutsu Kaisen logo and the character name are prominently displayed in the lower third as well as on the sides of the box. The back of the box features two more photos of the figure, one with Zakuna's mouth growing out of his palm and the other in yet another combat posture. Pulling that clamshell out of the box reveals the figure and everything that accompanies it. There's Yuji Itadori in the center surrounded by his accessories. They include a belt, a swap out angry face, five additional hands, two divergent fist effect pieces, the slaughter demon, a sheath, and the finger of Zakuna. Additionally, a sheet of detailed instructions can be found in the box beneath the clamshell. Taking the figure out of the box and arraying all of the accessories around it is a good way to prep for posing. There's Itadori in the center. To the right, we see the angry portrait, the belt, the slaughter demon, and the sheath. Laid out there on the table are all of the swap out hands that come with the figure, including a pair of claw hands, the hand with Zakuna's mouth, a gripping hand, and a hand for holding Zakuna's finger. On the left are a pair of divergent fist effect pieces. Now let's take a closer look at the Itadori figure. The head is sculpted and painted to recreate the character's likeness as seen in the animated series. Pulling the front part of the hair forward allows you to then remove the neutral portrait, which can then be swapped for the angry portrait before replacing the hair to complete the job. Itadori's uniform is expertly tailored with a dark blue smooth finish. The jacket is offset and permanently sealed, and is crowned with a bright red fabric hood that emerges from within. The matching pants are a relaxed fit with a high rise, exposing a pair of black socks and a pair of red lace-up boots. Now let's look at the articulation of the figure. The head rests upon a sculpted neck with joints above and below. With that head, the neck can look down about 45 degrees, and just shy of that range when looking up. The head can also rotate as far as you'd like in either direction and can tilt left or right about 45 degrees. The arms can achieve 90 degrees of lateral lift and can also hit a full 135 degrees of anterior lift with about 135 degrees of posterior lift before the fabric begins to stretch. The elbows will also allow the figure the maximum possible range of flex. And a break at the bicep will allow the arm to rotate there. The torso will achieve just shy of 45 degrees of crunch and about 45 degrees of extension. Additionally, the torso will twist a remarkable 90 degrees in either direction. Each leg will hit nearly 90 degrees of lateral lift. Anterior lift achieves just shy of 45 degrees. And there's about 10 degrees of posterior lift. The knees will provide about 140 degrees of hamstring flex. And a joint at the hip allows the leg to rotate to a natural degree. The boots are highly articulated at the ankles and provide an exceptional degree of extension, contraction, pronation, and supination. Before moving on to the poses, let's take a closer look at these accessories. As mentioned, Yuji Itadori's array of hands includes a pair of claw hands, the hand with Sukuna's mouth, a gripping hand, and a hand for holding Sukuna's finger. And here's a closer look at the rest of the accessories, including the pair of divergent fist effects, the angry portrait, the belt, the Slaughter Demon and its sheath, and the finger of Zakuna. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Yuji Itadori 6 scale figure by 3-0 from Jujutsu Kaisen. Be sure to watch Unsealed and Revealed and How to Be a Poser for even more 6 scale material. If you'd like more info on this figure, follow the link below. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen.
If you'd like more information about the product featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.